In this video, I'm going to make a box plot of data that was entered by actual students here uh, and have a look at, at what extreme or outlier values look like in a box plot. So this was data collected from some students here in 2019. Um, and uh, just for the fun of it, we asked them some questions um, anonymously uh, that we collected and we had them input it. So one of the things was their height. Okay, so first person you can see here who entered things different than everybody else was this person here. We wanted their height in centimeters. They entered it as five foot four inches. So um, I've done a little bit of cleaning on this data. That becomes 160 centimeters. So I just modified that one. Now quite a few people um, entered centimeters in their answer as well. If you want to modify this data, again, the file is um, below the video here, the link to it. You can go to data and filter. After you highlight this column, go to data and filter. And then you can have a look here by clicking this drop down at all the data. So there's a bunch of them listed as centimeters here. Let's just have a look at a couple of them. If you scroll down, you can just have a look at these guys. So again, a bunch of people inputted centimeters. Um, I'm actually going to switch this back here to what it was. So two people said they were 1.6 and 1.68 centimeters. Let's leave that as it is. I originally modified because I know they mean 160 centimeters, um, but let's just put it back to what they would have inputted. Somebody else also said there were 71 centimeters. Now out of that group, I know that there was nobody who was 71 centimeters. I think they meant 171. I'm gonna leave that in for now. Normally I would remove that data um, if I knew the data set and I knew that wasn't true. Uh, there's another person here who said they were 220 centimeters. And again, I know this, I knew this group at the time, so I know that nobody is truly 220 centimeters. That is over seven feet tall. But for the fun of it, let's leave them in right now. Okay, there are also two people who said they're 1.62 and 1.78 centimeters. I left them in for now. We can guess that's really 162 and 178. But again, let's just leave it. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. I'm just going to select all again to get rid of the filter. And I'm going to make a uh, box plot of these clean heights. So I just cleaned up the five foot four inches. I removed centimeters where it said centimeters. And that's all I've done. I've left the blanks. I've left the uh, interesting answers. Um, okay, so to make the box plot, I'm just going to click on the heights here, the top of column F, and control shift down. I keep doing that. It stops when there's blanks. Keep doing it. You wanna to get to the bottom of the data set, so you just hold on to the control shift and then keep hitting down until you truly get to the bottom of the data set. And if you've gone too far, hold down control shift and hit up. Perfect. That is all my data. Back to the insert tab. And now let's look at a box plot. For the fun of it, let's also just make the histogram. Um, it actually included it. It's just up above. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's just go back, keep everything highlighted, and also insert the box plot while we have it all highlighted. So back to insert and to box plot. Beautiful. And if I scroll up, I'll see both of these charts now. Perfect. Good. And I'm just going to put them on a new tab here. Call that charts. Or, and I'm going to click on this one, control C, and Control V to drop it in. Go back and I'm also going to, I'm gonna pull it out here by deleting it. And I'm gonna grab this chart, Control C and Control V to drop it in here. Actually, and I could have just cut it. So that would be Control X. 
on the first page here to get rid of it. Okay, so I just moved my chart to a new tab. This first one is the ogive of the student's heights. Okay, I like this ogive because I get to see what outliers look like. So they're shown as little dots. Some ogives display them as stars. This one, we see them as dots. Notice that your lowest non-outlier value is at 147. And then you have two outliers or several outliers. You have this one at 71. And then if you hover over here, there's the 1.6. There's also that 1.78 that was hiding in there too. Okay, so those are the student heights. Uh, we can zoom in just a pinch here. Our tallest one is at 220. Again, that was a mistake. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit there. If we want, we can make this graph a bit bigger too. So yeah, Q1 here is at 163. The median is this middle line at 170. Q3, uh, is at 179 and 195 is the highest non-outlier and we have an outlier at 220 on the upper end and that's our student heights again we could go and add under design we can add a vertical title these are our students heights in centimeters beautiful um, this data is what we call skewed left. We'll talk more about that in the next, um, the next video, but yeah, so it's got this long tail on the left. Ogives are flipped, so it's nice to have the histogram here too. So I made this histogram. This is the histogram of student heights. This one shows us a little bit more of that skewedness effect. Let's make it a bit bigger here. And highest is 108. Perfect. Okay, so we can see it a little bit better here uh, and understand skewed left or skewed right a little bit more. Again, we'll speak more to this later, but you can see here when we have these extreme outliers on the left side, you end up with these data way far away from the main group and you have them on the left side. So this distribution is called skewed left. Whichever side has the long tail, that's the side that's skewed. So there are some outliers on the right side here. This 220 is an outlier, we can see it here too. But this side has the longer tail, so it's called skewed left. Last thing if we want here, just to be thorough under design again, let's add some titles. Always a good idea. So these are the students' heights in centimeters. And here we have the number of students. So there are a lot of students in this middle bar, 108 of them to be precise. So most people are in this height range here. Beautiful. And this is my number of students. Okay, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.